so we will need to edit our period and uh, in the lay we we'll lay out for the periods edit we have in a create period so we will copy all this layout and control a to select so create period all the code from here and uh, let's go to our edit period in our edit period so just the same like we did in our edit category so we have to extend our layout to show the nav bar to extends layouts and layouts we have a main template so we'll need to create a section section content we will end this section and here will required a div class column small 8 and with column small offset this is the layout we have did it in a category so the same one okay under that uh, div we required a heading 4 heading 4 and under that heading 4 we required a bold and plus horizontal line okay create it not horizontal line here so heading 4 and after heading 4 we need a horizontal line okay here we will say add it period mm, up. so here we will give a link let me copy okay let's create it uh, anchor tag and in that anchor tag we required a button so button class is button button primary and we say periods and we will give the link to go to the index page of periods our index page so we say uh -huh. we say raw root root will be categories categories dash periods dot index so save it let's check in our browser refresh so when we click on edit we are dumping um, categories where is the controller let's command this control forward slash key save it back to your browser refresh click edit okay we will not require id we require the id okay in the editor we have need to we need to return the view and let's quickly return 
रिटर्न रिटर्न व्यू विच इज पीरियड्स डॉट एडिट ओके सेव इट रिफ्रेश क्लिक एडिट सो व्यू पीरियड डॉट एडिट नॉट फोन रिटर्न व्यू पीरियड्स वेर आज पीरियड्स एडिट पीरियड्स अंडर पीरियड्स वी हैव अ एडिट पीरियड सेव इट रिफ्रेश so we have a periods now when we click on this periods we want to go back so here we have created that link so categories period dot index will goes to this so this is a period okay so after hr horizontal line we have this link and here we will we will paste our the create period code copy one more time and let's paste it here and select all this div control right bracket we are indent indent the code so it is add we say added periods nothing to change more and we have to say period the form will be stored to period update and along with the id of the period so we period id okay save it uh, period id we will send from our controller in shortly because we required where is controller save it here say we need to find this id from our period model and we will send it to our this period okay let's change the layout first uh, period id so Here, here is input, and we say input the value and input the value. Okay, now come to our controller. In our controller. So. we need to find the id that we are submitting from layout so here when we when click on this so we were sending the id and that id we will find in our model so which is a period model so we have to suppose there is let's quickly instantiate in this 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 periods and new we are creating a new instance of period period model save it 
okay in added we will say so this periods where in a period table the column id must be equal to this id so when it is then find the first record and we will use the first method it will take the only one record and when it is so we will kept into our um, variable uh, data array and here say we say period only period and is equal to this one so data period is equal to this periods where id this id is equal to this only take the first record and that id all the record that we are fetching from our if i show diagram so data period that we are accessing from our database so let's refresh and when we click on so we have an a period model and the in an attributes so we have matching the id1 and the company id1 from to and all the record that is relating to this id we are fetching and it will take all the record of this id and we will kept in this and let's comment this and this array we will send to our view so data we are sending this data to our view so in our view which is added period so we are getting this period id right now and we are sending to update this id okay in a values here we will use a blade syntax and to display the data to user okay we say use the blade syntax and the date the php method date and in a string capital year to show the four digits capital and to separate dash m small month with small d lower case d will show the day in 012 digit category okay and we will have to use a string to time method to make it uh our from date so period from okay date and save it let's check in our browser mm here is okay click it so we have an edit page so this is a period year four digit month and the day and we have to do it in this field also here it is let's save it and let's refresh so uh, the layout making some problem okay we will check the layout mm, first let's complete this okay so we have the value of day period from and period let's change it to 
So period from change to string, string time and date function, save it. Uh, okay, and now we will also require the jQuery function that we have used in our, the first one, create period. And we have used in our index file, which is under create period index. Here is the jQuery function for picking date. So let's copy this section. And in our edit this section, we need to pull that in here. Very fresh. So now we can pull the date. Okay, the layout problem, let me fix that issue. Now it's fine. So because this is a full layout grid system, uh, this is the full grid. So we have to change it to 12 grid from six. Okay. So let's submit this data to, so period dot update and we are sending this period ID with the updated data from here. So, Okay, in our controller, so in an update function, we will require that ID. So we say we need the request. Request. We will also validate this request by uh, the, we have created the request period. So we need that ID. And let's die down this request first. Save it. Let's come to a browser. So this is the from one one. Let's change it to fab. And let's submit. And we have a request in the parameter bag we have a date from one one why it is mm, fab from two let's submit Check the parameter bag, request parameter bag, array four. So we have uh, now updating the date. Okay, let's die dump and uh, sorry, comment it. And in next video, we will uh, make updation to our database. So stay tuned.